Dude, this guy's going fast too. Jeez, this is not, and he's drifting in the snow. <laughs> Yo, most kids at age eight. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we have some really, 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 really interesting and awesome rally car racing. Uh, we're gonna be checking out Kyle Rovanpera, an eight year old prodigy, like racing prodigy. I never, I never heard of this guy. We got a suggestion from the community to actually react to him. So let's go ahead and give a shout out to Mr. Banani Palmy. Mr. Panet Mr. Banana Palmy, thank you so much for the suggestion. If you guys want me to react to a video that you guys are interested in, uh, make sure you put it in the comment section down below and link to that video so I can give you a shout out. Um, I'm super excited to get into this. I've been watching a lot more rally stuff lately, and it's just been really interesting getting into this like the, the history behind it, learning more about it, like really understanding how this started up and like the craziness of the group B era and everything that you guys have been kind of teaching me. And uh, apparently this this kid started racing at age eight in rally, which is insane. So I can't even imagine the stuff that this this, this kid is doing. And uh, I did, a, I cheated a little bit. I cheated a little bit and I saw that uh, this kid ended up growing up to be the youngest rally champion ever. So I don't know if that spoiled it a little bit, but <laughs> This definitely is 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 uh is shaping up to be one of the most interesting videos that we've checked out so far on the channel, uh. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Kale Rovin Para, first year rally driving at age of eight years old, insane, actually crazy. Hopefully this isn't copyright content. All these copyright videos, copyright music. Eight year old. Eight-year-old kid driving rally already. Hopefully, he has an adult in the car with him or something. Are we gonna get POV? This is already insane. Is this like a regular, normal-sized car? Okay, so he has somebody in the passenger seat with him. Dude, this guy's going fast too. Jeez, this is not, and he's drifting in the snow. <laughs> Yo, most kids at age eight, they are not driving full size car. Okay, that does not. I don't know. That doesn't literally look like a full size car. It looks kind of small. Maybe they maybe they customized it for him. But the fact that he's able to have this much control in the snow, absolutely insane. Oh, he crashed into the snow. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. He left his he left his signature there in the snow. It's hard. It's that it's that practice. Get them reps in. I mean, it looks like they have a pretty open space for him to practice, so there's not that much risk. Unless, I guess, unless he goes into the when he goes into the roads with the woods and stuff. But at least this area is pretty like it looks pretty safe. If we're gonna if we're gonna call anything safe. All right, let me put this volume down. I don't want to get I don't want to get copyrighted for the video. Unfortunately, that does happen a lot. Just get copyrighted for the music and not the video itself. So is this what is this guy's story? Is his dad was his dad his teacher? Or is his does he come from a family of racers? Because for him to have this kind of setup wherever he's at is like is pretty like a kid is pretty lucky to have an opportunity to race on a track like this, have a have a car suited up for him. But it seems like his this is probably his brother, or his dad or something. Teaching him teaching him the ropes, getting him ready. And if this and if he turned out to be like this like mega star or whatever like the youngest champion then clearly all this hard work ended up paying off if you guys want to check out any other rally videos that i've been doing uh i'm gonna link the playlist to all of the rally reactions that i've done so far if you guys are just now finding the channel and you want to watch more rally reactions from me the playlist is going to be linked up here um it's just like the little information thing that pops up you know what i'm talking about on the top right you know how youtube is if you guys want to check that out. Oh, but this guy, oh, he's actually driving in the in the forest now with the trees and everything. Surely he's a bit older. Right? That takes a lot of that takes a lot of guts. One strong one wrong move and he's straight into the woods. Oh wow. Oh his seat is his his seat is scooted all the way up. Jeez, man. He's he's driving better than some grown ups already at eight years old. How many how many reps a day? How many laps a day? Is this is this guy getting? 
Like, how many, like, does his dad bring him out to practice every day? 30 laps around the course. No wonder he, he was a champion if he's doing this daily when he was a kid. Through the mud. This probably is probably so, so fun for him. Like, driving on the regular road must be so boring after you do this all day and just drifting around corners and going through mud and speeding down every 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 corner and drifting. And then you're, like, going on a regular drive to, like, just go to the grocery store. And to him, it's just like, uh, I'm tired of this. Let me go back to the woods. But they seem to have a lot of property if that's... Or like, do they have dedicated courses for just this? Or do they share roads? Like, when you're practicing for rally. Like, do they have, like, areas that are just for rally racing? Or are, they, are these, like, public roads, too? Because I've seen a lot of highlights and stuff like that about rally. And they have them actually, like, in the court. Like, they have them in the regular roads sometimes. Like, just where people live. So how often can you really practice when you're doing rally car racing? Like, do you have, like, a special training facility that you can go to? Oh, they got the new record in there. Do you have like a special like training facility that you go to? Like, do you have to have connections to somebody with the track, or do you like reserve time with the city to go on your public roads or what? Like, it seems like a big uh, a big hassle to be able to get into this kind of sport, or you gotta have like the right connections, you know? Already learning how to do donuts, dude. This guy is this guy is epic, man. He, he rides this little car like it's like it's the back of his hand like it's an extension of his body like there's no there's no worry for him at all not even damn bro he has so much control over this car I wonder when he first got behind the wheel if he's doing this at eight like how many years of training did it take eight years old this is actually crazy Cali Roven Para. Now, this is what I was seeing in the comments. I've seen in the comments a decade. This is, this is the one that I cheated with. I cheated this one a little bit. A decade later, and he's now the youngest WRC rally winner, beating the previous record set by Jari Mati Latvala. Edit. He's now the youngest WRC driver's champion now that he scored a victory in New Zealand. Jeez, man. This, this kid is unbelievable. And this video was posted 11 years ago. So now he's like nine, he's 19 years old now. So... If you guys have any like recent videos of him to see his progression, definitely uh, send it in the comment section so I can check it out. Uh, but other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, I'm not going to ask you guys to like. I'm not going to ask you guys to subscribe. All I'm asking is for you guys to watch another one. Uh, any of these videos here, if you're interested in rally or if you're interested in any other types of sports, I have all of them, all different types of sports and different types of reactions on my channel. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.